Hello friends, peace and blessings to everyone. Today I'm making chicken foot stew. I'm gonna show you how we make this delicious comfort food. And I know some people may cringe at it, but wait until you see it and taste it. It's Caribbean ducks. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Let's get started. We're gonna take a little quick glimpse at our kitchen garden. Everything is green and growing well. And it's time to harvest a few ingredients for our pot today. See what we have here. We have eggplants, you have scallions. I have peppers and tomatoes, long beans. We have kalaloo, chow rabaji. There's our long beans. We have spinach, Malabar spinach. And we're gonna grab a few of the ingredients that we need here for this pot. Let's get started. So, first thing, we're gonna grab a couple of hot scotch bonnet peppers that's ripening on the tree. Just a few I'm gonna harvest today. I'm gonna let the rest of them ripen and come back for them. So we can cook with them later, right? So here we go. I got about four of them. That'll work. And we're gonna grab some scallions. So I like using fresh ingredients in my cooks. Everything tastes so much better when you use it fresh. None of that bottled stuff or powder stuff, right? So I got my scallions here. Nice big bunch of scallions. Now we're gonna harvest some, um, these are called Everglades tomato. They're so delicious and sweet, but I'm gonna eat them right away. This is not going in our pot. They're ready to eat. And I'm gonna get some fine Guyanese, fine thyme here. Gonna get a couple of sprigs there. They're starting to sprout now and grow. So I'm gonna harvest. That's about how much I'm gonna use today. Now, right in our garden, we're going to have fresh bay leaves. So I encourage you guys, I know most of you guys cook with the dried bay leaf, but if you try the fresh bay leaf from right off the tree, like I have an opportunity to do, it's so much flavorful. And now I'm going to get me some Spanish oregano or broadleaf thyme. Here's the rest of our ingredients, guys. We have onion, garlic, a small piece of ginger, we have tomato. I have my broadleaf thyme, I have a red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, our scallion, I have some Maggie seasoning, I have some soy sauce, and I have some Guyanese casrip, because we don't use browning, we use stuff with flavors, right? We have some carrots, and I have some celery, I have my butter beans, and about two large scoops of my all-purpose green seasoning. That's all we need. And I'm gonna have some black pepper and salt to taste. And here's our chicken feet that's been steamed, washed clean with lime and vinegar. And we're ready to chop these boys up and get them going. So what I like to do is cut my feet in two so they cook better they look better in a pot so a lot of you may cringe but this is like a little aphrodisiac thing for some people it's a delicatessen for some and it's gonna be delicious because we're using all natural ingredients here that's gonna be very tasty so I like to snap them in two just like this and set them aside so now we're gonna go ahead and chop all the rest of our ingredients all the aromatics and seasoning and get them going and I'll be right back to explain the rest of it to you so I'm also gonna use a tiny piece of fresh ginger I'm gonna mince that into small pieces just a little piece of ginger goes a long way. 
Now for my tomatoes, I'm just gonna cut them in half. These are little plump tomatoes. If you, I don't even know the name of it, but they're delicious and sweet. Then I'm gonna shred my thyme, my fan leaf thyme, and cut up our celery. I'm gonna mince that into little pieces as well. And I'm gonna use about a half of a large yellow onion. There it is. And our bell pepper. I'm gonna dice into small pieces. Now bell pepper, I love using bell pepper in my stews and soup. It gives color, texture, and flavor. Get that heat, that scotch bonnet pepper. I'm going in with that heat, and I'm gonna cut my carrots into little medallions, and about five cloves of garlic. That's a must. Guys, I like to take the time to thank everyone who's watching this video. Please continue to watch to the end. I appreciate you guys. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. Now we're gonna go in with some olive oil and heat that up, bring it up to temperature, and then we're gonna add all our aromatics and seasoning. And we're gonna stir fry and saute that so you get all the juices and flavors going. and easy and now we're going to distribute that so that it's evenly cooked and i'm going to cover that down for about two to three minutes let it steam and release all our flavor there you go now we give it a toss and we're going to continue to cook that and that bay leaf it's smelling so awesome in there wow you guys got to cook with bay leaf. It gives so much aroma and flavors. I'm going to cover this down just for a few more minutes. And here it is. Smelling so awesome. Now we're going to add our chicken feet to the pot. Going to go in with a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Our green all-purpose seasoning goes in. Now I see some people marinate the chicken feet. It's not necessary to marinate feet after it's been steamed. Now we're gonna go in with a half a teaspoon of salt because some of the other ingredients like I'm using here has a little bit of salt as well. Like soy sauce, I'm going in with two teaspoons of soy sauce and one teaspoon of our Maggie seasoning. Adding on the layers here. Here's our Guyanese Casrip. That's gonna give it that wonderful color and added flavor. And now we're gonna give it a toss and make sure everything is well coated and it's being observed into the meat. And here it is. After we get everything coated here nicely, and we're cooking on medium to low heat here. We're cooking with love, so we're taking our time. And now, I'm gonna go in with about two cups of hot water so that the cooking process continue. And we're gonna get faster results. Just give it a quick stir on the bottom. The glaze was stuck to the bottom of the pan get all that flavors right and we're gonna cover this down for about 20 minutes let it simmer and do its thing and tenderize we want this this is similar to cooking cow feet it's gonna gelatinize and be nice and gummy and chewy Lots of flavor. Now we're going in with our butter beans. Some people could use potatoes. I use butter beans. It gives it a nice creamy flavor and texture. And it's sweet in the pot. So I go in with about a cup full of butter beans. 
or one can of butter bean. And now that we have our butter bean in there, it's gonna melt in there a little bit and thicken up. So I'm going in with an added half a cup of hot water. And we're gonna let that cook down for the rest of the time for about another 10 minutes. We're ready to plate up. This is it. I'm serving it up with some white rice and garnish with some cucumber. And here you have it guys, our chicken fit stew. Delicious, hot, aphrodisiac comfort food. Hope you guys like this recipe. Give it a try. How many of you are adventurous enough to try this flavorful dish? Leave a comment. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, like if you are interested in this recipe, and I'll share it with you. Thanks for watching again. You guys have a wonderful day. It's Caribbean Ducks.